Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host, Bruce Outrich, where he talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Welcome to another edition of the Lead Pedal Podcast. This is episode number 1044, and today we got a great featured truck. This thing is a unique ride, and we're going to tell you all about it when we get back. So, uh... Stay tuned and let's get on with uh, let's get on with the show, shall we? Here we go. Hey everybody, you've heard of uh, Rosedale Transport. Well, you know they've got tons of opportunities for you, no matter what you want to do. You know what? It doesn't matter what terminal because they have terminals all across North America, and they are looking for owner operators, truck drivers, and other team members that might be uh, of interest. The best way to find out all the information about Rosedale, the history of a 50-year company that's stable and rock solid in the industry, is to go to RosedaleGroup.com. That's right, just go to RosedaleGroup.com, and you can see all the opportunities. Look under the careers tab. You'll see what's available. You'll see they've got 800 employees, two and a half thousand happy clients, 15 offices, and 50 years of trust. And when you get there and you talk to them and you say, hey, you know what? I want to be part of your team. Make sure you tell them that you heard about it from the Lead Pedal Podcast. All right, rosedalegroup.com. Tell them we sent you. Bye. All right, so let's get into our featured truck. Now, this featured truck is not something that you've seen before because unless you are in the fire department, you may not understand this. This is a 1963 Seagrave fire truck, and it's from Mike Fox. Uh, He's from Foxborough, Ontario, and uh, we saw this up at the Clifford Truck Show. Now, this thing is one sweet ride like never before. Um, It is, the fire truck has been chopped, well, I'm assuming it's been chopped. Um, there's no roof on it. It's a convertible truck, which is looks cool in itself. And it's got a really low bed on it uh, for the hookup of a trailer. So this thing is, um, it's got a weird, <laughs> it's just... It, it's it's futuristic and old school all at the same time. This thing has got a beautiful flaming paint job on it. It's white with the flaming paint job that takes over the whole thing. It's got a heavy front end. It's a single axle tractor. And this thing has got about 1,600 uh, miles on it here. Uh, this one here, uh, Mike uh, goes to a lot of things. He was telling me all about it. Unfortunately, unfortunately the... Um, the interview didn't come in well with it, but it's got uh, it's got train horn. It's got um, this thing in the middle, which I guess would have been the siren. Um, <laughs> That's at the front, uh, front over the grill, and it is r- is really cool. Um, I don't know if it had uh, the fuel tank even sticks out. <laughs> I am not sure what he's taken off here or not, but it's a a single uh, seat. It, there's a driver's seat and then a single bench seat. Uh, it's a convertible um, with the truck mirrors, and it looks like it's a, it's a fifth wheel. So it would have uh, probably pulled some kind of a ladder truck or something like that. Kind of weird that it's a convertible, but it is a 1963. <laughs> Seagrave. Uh, and a Seagrave apparently is the make that made a lot of the fire trucks in the old days. And so this one is, uh, and it's kept up really nice. He's got, he's got side stacks going along uh, the running boards and uh, he's got all kinds of little compartments and the, the paint job is immaculate. Um, very sweet. If you're listening to this on the podcast, you need to get down there and see the video on this. It's got a, a double, uh, double round headlights, um, and just it's t- tinted window visor on the front, tinted window on the front, not a visor. There's no visor there. Uh, lots of handles. Like you think you can see the guys, the way this is made, you can see the guys hanging off the side of this as they're going down the road. Uh, would have been an interesting uh, drive for sure. Uh, so thank you there, uh, Mike. That's an interesting truck for sure. Uh, something that I wouldn't have thought of. Um, <laughs> Uh, but it certainly, uh, certainly made for a fun, fun event. So check out the video on this, and a uh, big thanks to Mike for us for uh, having a featured truck for this week. Hey, let me tell you about the uh, Trucking Network. They're having their next job fair on uh, sub- Saturday, September 23rd, and um, it's at the Pearson Convention Center in Brampton, which is a location that always gets filled up really fast. And you want to make sure that you uh, get into that. Now, they give away cash prizes. They have all the recruiting companies in the room. It's a great place. If you're looking for any kind of a job in trucking, whether it be a driving, mechanic, anything like that, then you need to be at this job fair. It's free to attend. Uh, if you There are sponsor um, 
uh, things available. If you want the sponsorship there, you can do that uh, or advertise. Uh, tables are, are there. And uh, you can find out all this information at thetruckingnetworkevents.ca is where you can find out about that. Let me tell you about another one as well. Um, Big Rigs is this week is coming up very soon. Uh, so is the Athens Truck Show coming up on August 25th. Uh, and uh, there's also the Truck Ride, Special Olympics Truck Ride, which we talk a lot about. That's coming up September 16th. Uh, and you can uh, help uh, you can help some um, help some people uh, have great lives. Uh, those uh, athletes need special needs. So uh, where can you go? Go to truckride.ca to get all the information on that. And a uh, big thank you to everybody for listening. Hey, follow us on social. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, X, whatever they're calling it, <laughs> TikTok. And uh, you can also find us on, um, on LinkedIn. I think that's everything. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later. Go check out the video on uh, the special uh, special truck today. You're going to really enjoy it. Thanks to Mike Fox. Sorry our interview didn't work out, Mike. It was a pleasure talking to you at uh, Clifford for sure. And we'll talk to you later. Bye for now, everybody. This has been another episode of the Lead Pedal Podcast. For more information or to subscribe to the podcast, visit the leadpedalpodcast.com and be sure to follow the podcast on Facebook and Twitter. 